So, I've been in Norway for three weeks now. I came to visit the girl and do as much skydiving as possible. And over the past few days, I've come to the realization that I'm not that stoked on it anymore. Although, I have fun and I enjoy it and I'm super grateful to be able to do it. I think my heart lies on the, on the beach, we're in the mountains, uh, doing my own thing, my own pace and enjoying the nature. So being stuck at the drop zone for three weeks and not having a car, I kind of had a bit of a melt. So I went and bought a car, spent about two hours fitting it out with leftovers and rubbish laying around the drop zone. And I've taken off down to Denmark to the beach for some soaring and I'm frothing. <laughs> I'm here for six days. The forecast is pretty average but I think I'll be able to work with it. The wind's moving around quite a bit from northeast, northwest, sorry, all the way around to east. The plan is to chase it around, explore some new areas and fly some new site, come visit some, some old favorites. It's Wednesday today. On Saturday, we're gonna have strong southeast, so I might go check out the east coast and see what I can find over there. I got the ferry last night, pretty standard rough trip. Uh, coming over to chase wind. <laughs> usually pretty bouncy so the ferry is like a floating plane but everyone can walk around and kids and all sorts it's a bit of a nightmare stayed at a car park last night near lock and got up at eight o'clock this morning had a sleep in super proud of myself for that aim to be down here in fitter sunday by midday so had some lunch in my little gypsy van feels so good to have a little home on wheels it's so rough but it'll do the job just fine it's 2 30 now just walking up the back of the dune a bit of sunday i've got a few mates coming down dennis and lassie looks pretty windy maybe like 20 knots looks like it's absolutely cooking <laughs> i'm so excited it's not funny i love this place this is the first place i flew the mustache and absolutely fell in love with it See how it is, eh? <laughs> This is man-made, but there's a lot of gravel in it. And there's a machine down the beach, quite bad. Super rotary. When I'm like pumping and trying to stall my wing to stop and like to have a bit of a pipe, there's just no power in there. It's like the air's thinner, quite bizarre. If this is man-made, <laughs> it'd be pretty devastating. This was probably the best patch of sand dune I've ever flown. And if they're feeling <laughs> man-made, small dune in front to stop erosion or something that'd be absolutely devastating um, correct me if i'm wrong if someone knows any different so i think i'm gonna fly back to the car and i'll drive south a bit and check it out down there it's a bit cross to the right so it'll be probably better down there i think i can see someone flying but i'm not too sure get back to the car park go have a look further south
training session. I cracked the shits and I was about to leave and Dennis and Lassie rocked up and they went had a fly and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah it's alright, it's just like good enough. <laughs> so we ended up flying for maybe a few hours. It was pretty rough and while I couldn't do everything I wanted to do so I was quite frustrated but we still, still made the most so it was pretty fun. It's quarter past seven, I'm going to head a bit further south to get away from those built up bits of sand and meet up with my mate Killian and see how it is down there. The wind's still pretty strong, it's supposed to go more south this afternoon as it gets later. Might work, we'll see, we're going to go check it out anyway. Start at 11, I'll get two hours at each side, including driving, so maybe an hour flying. I could just stay in one spot and fly the one spot all day, but I feel like going on a bit of an adventure, a bit of a mission. I'll finish my coffee up here and head back south in a bit of Sunday. I'm at 
bit of sun there. It's been on and off raining all morning. I just caught up with a mate, Ollie, from Germany, who I met in Australia six months ago. I'm at the same spot as yesterday. Just have a little quick one here, get a taste for it, see what it's like. Let's go have a look, eh? take a couple of shots with my drone and Ollie was following me. He pulled up on the side of the road, said, you're right, mate. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just having a look at my drone. He ran down the beach, had a look at the dune. He's like, it's fucking sick. Well, I said the exact same thing. We're on our way up there, but we're here and we're gonna give it a little run for a bit. The dune looks really fun. We'll have a little rip around here for 15 minutes and get up the bearing. <laughs> Denmark for another surprise site session. That was pretty fun. <laughs> we only planned to fly here for like 10, 15 minutes, but we ended up getting a couple of hours in. It's pretty fun. <laughs> it's probably better than Vita Sunday to be honest. Pretty stoked with that. So we're gonna head a bit further north now to Ferry. Have a go there. I'm pretty excited about this one. It's just a bit different terrain than the sand dunes we've been flying, so we'll get in the car and get into it. Trans Church. We rocked up up the top and there's a couple model plane flyers. I spoke briefly to them and another paraglider. And they all seem to think that it's really strong and a bad idea. So I've just walked down the bottom <laughs> to see see how it uh, how it feels. It's a little bit cross down here. 
It doesn't look all that windy, maybe like 18, 20 knots on the water, but they've definitely got me a bit, uh, bit nervous. <laughs> I'll get my wing out, sort of halfway down, and see how it feels. I don't think it's too strong. It is quite steep, so it's gonna be super punchy. But yeah, we'll see, see how it goes. I'm quite nervous. <laughs> The boys are up fine. I really wanted to get to Tofton, but the other two seem to be having a bit of fun, so I'm going to go join them. A couple of fun little features here that I wouldn't mind trying. We'll see how we go. Still plenty of daylight left. If I really want to get to Tofton, I'll be able to, but Ollie looks like he's having a good time. Check this out. Hey! Is it? So much wind. It's getting lighter. Let's go. Okay. It's awesome. Pretty tender. That might be the, the session ender. Fly back to the car and have a drink of water and reassess. <laughs> oh. Jesus. 
So my ankle is pretty sore. I might have to sit this sunset session out this afternoon, which is pretty devastating. I'm gonna put some eye drops in my wind blasted eyes and put little Johnny up and go for a fly with the boys. Can't fly, but I can always fly little Johnny. He's got plenty of plenty of juice there on his 18. I really should be flying, but I just I'm exhausted. <laughs> just have a bit of rest this morning. I'll go for a fly. My ankle's still pretty sore. I think I need a few coffees to get me going this morning. <laughs> So the boys are up flying 18s and it looks a bit cross but this morning I think we're only going to get a short window so we'll get some gear together and see how it goes. My ankle's good enough to fly I think, just won't be able to slide around too much. See any wind lines? It looks pretty dead. 
Maybe for a big wing, Ollie's got a full size paraglider. I'd be so good. Last time I flew here, I had cow shit all up the back of my harness. Cruise along these little cow tracks, so good. Look at this. Ollie's nearly back in the car now. Bring little Johnny back and see what he has to say. How is it? Maybe it was my big one. You gonna have a go? Yeah, just by the table is. Thanks, Johnny. Did really well, Johnny. So, Ollie just left 15 minutes ago. I've just been trying to plan where I'm going to go for the day. The trees have just started moving around. It's like the wind's talking to me. I think I'm going to have to walk down with 18 and check it out because I reckon it's just picked up about five knots. I'm going for a look, definitely feels stronger. I'm going lightweight, I've got the contour harness and the 18. Looks like there's a little wind line on the water, can't see any white caps, so I don't think I'll be fine. Probably a bit too keen. Just spoke to the owner of this farm. When you fly, I'd be, it's nice to check in with them and see where their animals are. I keep cows down in front and really appreciate it if people don't fly among the cows. Although that would be a lot of fun, it's probably not the best thing for the cows. The lady was super nice, we had a chat for about five minutes. Fun fact for Rodby if you ever fly here. So I can see small white caps. It's a bit cross to the left though, which might be a good thing. I know this ridge curves around to the left and it gets steeper and a bit taller. So I'm going to go for a little wander around the corner, see what it looks like over there. If I could get like 30 meters and square on, I think I'll be able to fly. I've always wanted to fly this ridge around the corner. You can see it from Tofton really well. There's a little car park I stay at. You can see it in the distance and it looks like a fun ridge. Just walked around the corner and it's where all the seagulls are hanging out. So that's a good start. It's definitely higher, it's definitely steeper. It's more like Tofton size. Could be on here. Have to do a bit of a bushwhack to get myself up there, but if I can find a spot to lay my wing out, I think we'll be good. Pretty big, eh? Denmark is pretty savage for its spiky bushes. So this trip up this hill could be quite uncomfortable. Let's see how we go. I think it's probably enough, maybe, yeah, maybe. I'm a bit on the fence. <laughs> my optimism says it's enough. How it feels on my face says, mate, you kidding yourself. And launching could be tricky because it's quite steep. Um, I might have to use the snow loops on the mow. Nikes aren't the best hiking boots. Easy. I'm gonna use the snow loops. Look at that, isn't that amazing? Pretty steep, it's holding on there nicely. Still don't think there's enough wind, but I'll show you. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Sick. Real bumpy, but fun. Nice to get my feet in the water. Yesterday I drove across the whole country, it took me two and a half hours, which is quite funny because one of my flying sites at home, which I regard as my locals, about two hours away. Slept in a little beach car park last night, a lighthouse, pretty cozy. I'm at Filsu, looks like it's about 
16, 18 knots. It's hard to tell, there's no waves. I find it hard to gauge how strong the wind is when there's no surf. It might be stronger than it looks. I'm not too sure. Forecast is saying 25 knots. So I'm gonna start up here on this ridge on a bit of a low section and see how it feels with the 18. Today I'm chasing the wind around this peninsula on the east coast. I've got three or four sites I wanna check out. I'll move around with the wind as it goes from southeast to south southeast, maybe even south. Strength looks pretty good until about 6 p.m. It's about 9.30 now. It'll be a big day of flying. This might be the last day of flying for the trip. Tomorrow is like 40 knots. Pretty cool looking ridge though. Real different to the west coast, which is nice. Bit of grass. There's gonna be some really, really sharp bushes here, so I'm gonna have to be careful. <laughs> Let's see how it is. that these little walking tracks on the top of the ridge are epic turning down these is so fun i feel like i'm in a video game so wind's kind of dying although it looks windy down south i'm gonna head down to this headland down here there's a lighthouse lookout oh, i think it'd be really cool to play around with uh, on the way there there's another little juni looking site not sure if i'll be able to get to it i might need to do a bit of bushwhacking i'll get in the car and I'll charge down there it's midday the day's young 11 hours of daylight left Road, I couldn't get into and it's only a few hundred meters away so I think I'll just uh, walk from here it's a bit of a walk yeah we're a fair way away from the ocean but um, it's windy it's a pretty nice little um, countryside I'll have some lunch and get down there and check it out sick little spot for lunch look at this yeah good a lot of myself too Danish guy. So we walked in here together and had a look at this site. I think this is Esby. It's about 40 meters. It's a bit too windy for him, so he took off. I just flew the 15 for a bit. It's pretty fun. It's backed off a bit. I just bombed out. It's quite hot down there on the, on the stones. It's a hot one. It's a hot one today. The wind's backing off and it's heading more south. Kind of south southeast at the moment. I'll fly here for another 10 minutes and then I'll head further west to another site that's south facing and about 40 meters. 2.30 in the afternoon, another hour here and I'll head to the west.
real amazing features, kind of just like bushy and nice light wind site for Denmark. Definitely going more south, so I'm gonna head over, head west, go see if we can't fly Molstu. Go check it out anyway. Going, right? It's okay. Whoa. Okay, day five, site three. Pulled up in the car park and bumped into Corinne and Karen from Vita Sunday the other day. Pretty funny. It's a bit of a hike into this one. I've walked across those fields in the background. It's a bit of a mission. Uh, the girls said that it's a bit cross. I'm walking out onto a peninsula though that kind of curves around, so maybe. Depends how far I walk, maybe it square, squares up a bit. It's pretty light, can't really see any white caps. Pretty decent sized ridge though, similar to the one at Getrup the other day. It'd be pretty fun to drag along the top of all this, but it was so hot when I left the car, I left my shorts on, so I don't have long pants. But if you ever fly inland sites in Denmark, I'd always recommend to wear pants because the bushes are so damn sharp. I think if I can keep walking around this ridge and if the wind was square on it, it'd be enough to fly the 18. Enchanted forest. How oh, good. Oh, filthy. Oh my god. Wow, sick. Cool spot. just missed that. There was white caps in the car park and I pulled up. Bummer. I just checked the forecast. Tomorrow's improved a bit. It's not as windy as it was saying and it's not as wet. Looks like there might be a window from 8 to 10 maybe. We call it a day. 6.30. That makes some dinner. Hit the hay, have an early one. Pretty wrecked. Early start today, 7.30. It's a bit of a bit of a front rolling in today. It's supposed to get up to 30, 35 knots. Back at the same ridge from yesterday afternoon. I think I'll hang out here for a few hours, see what it does. This ridge is quite cliffy, so it's gonna be mega punchy. This electric fence is not happy with me. It's kind of an inland site, so it might be a bit choppy. I'm just gonna sort this fence out. Oh, yeah. The handle came off the fence. Fucking got me. Karen and Corina in the area somewhere, they might come down. Let's see how we go. I'm nearly here. Seagulls are here, it's a good sign. A bit cross. Not too bad though. Maybe like 20 knots. Might be worth having a shot, I reckon. Cross. We better down this way. session that one it's a bit cross and pretty strong but cool to fly it anyway so that'll be the end of my trip six day trip five days of flying flew nine different sites and with that flight i vlogged 21 and a half hours that is pretty good bang for buck i think denmark is probably the <laughs> i think denmark's probably the best place in the world to come for 
flying holiday, road trip, <laughs> flaring, flying, paragliding, whatever. It's amazing bang for buck if you come for a week and you can fly 20 hours, that's incredible. And I look forward to coming back. So if you've got any questions about sites or gear, I'm happy to chat, just send us a message. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching Legend. See you next time.